The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came, neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came, eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. Each year, beginning with the second week of Advent, the focus turns for a number of days to the relationship between Jesus and John the Baptist. John the Baptist, who came heralding the kingdom of God and announcing that someone would be following him who would be the Messiah, the Savior. And of course, Jesus first following John the Baptist and then going off on his own. And one of the things that uh, comes up today in our scriptures, and we'll continue in the readings that we'll have over the weekend, is the, not only the relationship between Jesus and John the Baptist, but their different characters and how, according to our personalities, we can find our own way to follow the kingdom of God, to enter into a relationship with God. So we have John, who was very much an ascetical person who sought to go out into the desert and live in a certain seclusion and contemplation, who was very uh, sparse in the things that he ate, who dressed in camel skin. You can imagine that was not a very comfortable sort of clothing. He did all of those things because he wanted to practice the ascetical life. He found that to be the best way to live out the kingdom of God. But Jesus was very different. He had a very different personality. He enjoyed mingling with people and found that that was the way for him to live out the kingdom of God, to go to people's homes, have dinner, enjoy a glass of wine, be comfortable in those kinds of settings and share and live out the kingdom of God in that way. It it reminds us of how we are different personalities, introverts, extroverts, all the different ways in which we are the persons whom we are, God creating us in this wonderful diversity. And so we have some of us who go off to live in the spirit of John the Baptist, in a spirit of seclusion and contemplation, like the good Dominican nuns over on Dote Street or the good Carmelite sisters in their monastery up on uh, Carmel Road or the Trappist monks out at the Abbey of the Genesee, outside of Geneseo, where I love to go and spend time in quiet and prayer and community with them. But then there are, of course, the other ways in which we are called to live out the kingdom. So many of you have the vocation to live out the sacrament of matrimony and share the kingdom of God with your spouse, with your children, with your grandchildren, The church speaks about the family as the domestic church and the first place where most of us are initiated into and grow in the faith. And there are so many other ways in which we can live out our vocation to be not only those who adhere to the kingdom of God as it was brought into our world, announced by by John the Baptist and then brought into its fullness through Jesus, but as ways of bringing that kingdom into our world. So we have vocations to be missionaries, teachers, pastors, people who are out on the streets bringing the word to those who are in need because of poverty, bringing the word to those who are in need because of mental illness, all kinds of ways for us to live out the gospel, and differently, perhaps at different stages in our lives, when we are younger, when we're middle-aged, when we're older. So it's a great variety that Jesus and John the Baptist show us in their relationship with one another, and it's a call for us to be open to the ways in which we share a world with people of so many different personalities 
who have so many different ways of living out the kingdom of God.